Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Elaine Quijano. And I'm Lana Zach. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. The House of Representatives has expelled George Santos from Congress, marking only the sixth time that this has happened in American history. Israel has launched a new offensive in Gaza after negotiators failed to extend the week-long ceasefire with Hamas. And the first woman to sit on the Supreme Court of the United States has died. We look back at the life of trailblazing Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. And later this hour, attorneys for former President Donald Trump make their case to have the Georgia election subversion charges dropped. Look at the arguments they're making and their chances for success. And the U.S. delegation arrives in Dubai for the U.N. Co climate conference. We'll also look at the solution in nature that can be used to lower our carbon footprint. On this vote, the yeas are 311, the nays are 114, with two recorded as present. Two-thirds voting in the affirmative, the resolution is adopted, and a motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. The votes are in, and Representative George Santos is out. The House has expelled the embattled Long Island Republican after a scathing ethics report detailed allegations of fraud and deception. Santos was defiant until the end, calling the process theater for the media. This is only the sixth time in U.S. history that the House has voted to expel one of its members. Let's bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian. So, Nicole, the outcome of this vote was up in the air with several GOP leaders coming out in recent days against the resolution to expel Santos. So what happened in the end? Yeah, that's right. Well, look, you know, we 